Hi, I'm Maxine Townsend Broderick. When I'm in Grenada or in New York, I look at Culture Share for the best in Caribbean entertainment. Okay, Maxine Townsend Broderick, a photographer who owns her own studio at the moment, a working photographer, but found the time to do two pieces of work right here at the exhibition that features former Grenada's Prime Minister Morris Bishop. Maxine, first of all, let me say welcome to Culture Share. Thank you. It's great having you. I saw you in Grenada in Carnival. <laughs> <laughs> Having a good time, right? Yes. Okay, that's great. As a matter of fact, your father is uh, a Grenadian, right. if you can start, and um, he passed away in 1971, and you went to Grenada then. Right. It was my first visit to the Caribbean. <laughs> to the Caribbean. Oh, okay, great. So it was culture shock for me. <laughs> you know, and I was overwhelmed. I met my mother is Jamaican. And when we were driving from Pearls Airport to Grenada, to town, to St. George's, my mother kept pointing things out to me. Oh, Maxine, look, Maxine, look, Maxine. And I was, no, mom, mom, you know, I don't want to be all other, no, no, no. <laughs> and then I went to Grenada, when I went to the General Hospital shortly after we arrived, about a half hour or so, my father died. And I was extremely upset because of the difference. Because I had just left my mother-in-law in the hospital here in New York. And I remember my older sister holding me and hugging me and telling me how much my father loved Grenada. Okay? Then you began to paint years after. When the person that came into focus then, former Grenada's Prime Minister Morris right. Bishop. Now you spoke of 1971. Uh -huh. In those days, Morris Bishop would have been in England, just completed in England, a part of the Black no. Power movement in Trinidad. No, at the time when we came to Grenada, when my mm -hmm. father died, Morris was in Grenada, mm -hmm. and it was part of the movement in Grenada. Um, the, when the nurses' mm -hmm. demonstrations, see, my father died as a result of being tear gassed uh, in, 71. During, in 71. Okay, so Morris was there. I mean, and I met Ma Morris before when he was on his way to England. So when we went back to Grenada and we met Morris and saw the movement and everything, I said, wow, you know, and that it was a movement for the people, you see. And I guess in Grenada, with the, having the experience of my father's death and the funeral, my father's funeral it was something that I had never experienced in my life. So it was so warm, I felt that I had really reached my roots. This was when people came to me and talk, spoke to me about my father and his family and everything and how the people were so warm. It really gave me a sense of self. I finally found my home. Okay? Then Morris Bishop led the revolution in 1979 mm -hmm. and then died in mm -hmm. 1983. Mm -hmm. Part of your world also died. Yes, and I found that, and I felt part of Grenada's world had died. And one of the things in, in the particular painting that I did, it's um, called The Dream Lives. It's a portrait of Morris in the uh, map of Grenada, surrounded by the different road signs that were in all the parishes in Grenada. And in painting that, when I was trying to heal over Morris's death, I also felt that I needed a way to help Grenadians heal. And I wanted Grenadians to realize what they had. And it wasn't, the revolution wasn't just Mars, it was a revolution of the people. And through the road signs, I was trying to get the people to see this is what the revolution was about. Things like forward ever, backward never. Things about um, if, you te if you know, teach, if you don't learn. And I felt that they were all inspirational feelings that the revolution brought to the people. Okay. Well, you didn't stop at that particular painting. You went on to another. No, I went, yeah, I went on. I went on and then I did a, a mural in New York, in Manhattan, there's a mural. And uh, I did a, the portrait of Morris on the mural. And I just continued to go to Grenada and, and to paint. I, f I found out, I was telling someone before, when I first started painting, I never put people in my paintings, but when I had something to say, that's when I started painting portraits. And it did start with Morris's portrait. I started painting Morris's portrait and I started painting life in Grenada. I started painting the people in Grenada and, and the, the life that I felt was so beautiful. And, and I wanted to, to let people know about Grenada. 
you know. Do you have any plans to um, do some exhibits in Grenada so that I people can see? <laughs> <laughs> I would love to. I would love to. I have work. I would love. I mean, it's one of my dreams to not only have a show in Grenada, but to have a show throughout the Caribbean of Caribbean life in Grenada. Because it's beautiful. The people are beautiful. <laughs> It's a beautiful country. I see, I see you. You get high on the Caribbean. Yes. I mean, I really, I visited, my, like I said, my mother is Grenadian. I mean, it's Jamaican. And I visited Jamaica. And I have visited other parts of Grenada. But I'm in other parts of the Caribbean. I come back to Grenada. People will see me in Grenada every year. I come back to Grenada because I love Grenada. I feel Grenada is my home. I feel part of it. Okay. And I want people to see the beautiful people of Grenada. Maxine, I want to say thank you much for being on Culture Shock. <laughs> You're so full of life. I like your spirit. Keep it up, keep painting. Thank you. And keep passing on that beautiful message. Thank you. And someday, art. I hope I'll be in Grenada with a show. All right, great. Take care. I promise. <laughs> thank you.